Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Steve Plays, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game called The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which is the third and final game in the, at least Geralt's uh, version of the game. I don't know if they're going to plan on doing any more. I really hope so, because I, I really enjoyed these games. Um, hey, uh, Geralt is a witcher, which is a, a human who's been modified with, like, demon and uh, monster parts to be, to live long, uh, longer lives, uh, have more stamina, be stronger, faster, you know, all sorts of improvements. Come on, Roach. Uh, now the gameplay is a third person hack slash RPG. Uh, it's, a, it's open world. Um, the map is huge. Uh, I've only played a little bit and then it's, there's a, a ton to take in. A lot, a lot to do. Uh, let's see, as you can see here on the world map, there's uh, a lot of these places that you can find throughout. And uh, there's an, a bunch of them undiscovered. And this is just the first area where the this is where the first chapter takes place in this first little area. So I have uh, no idea how exactly the world, big the world is. You can go to the world map, which uh, is uh, also a lot of places. So that'll definitely be uh, uh, interesting. They, they claim it's going to have 200 hours of gameplay, which uh, you know that's what's up. 200 hours can't beat that, especially since who knows uh, when Fallout 4 is going to come out. Oh, oh. Or, or, you know, the next Elder Scrolls game will be next year. There we go. That was easy. Uh, let's go fight another wolf to try to demonstrate the combat system a little bit more for you. So, uh, you have two swords, a steel and a silver. So, for your normal uh, monsters and humans, uh, normal animals and humans, you, you'd use your steel sword, um, your silver sword is reserved for the monsters and ghosts and demons and such, because they do uh, more damage to the other. Um, you also have some different magics you can use here, you can also get more abilities later, but you start off with a trap, like a, uh, this was a shield, so it's like a bubble shield to play Halo, it's a, just a, a protective dome around you. You have Igni, which is your uh, a basic fire, like wave you shoot out, uh, actually you can use that to, um, to, to deter enemies, to turn them away, hold them off for a little bit, and then Ard, which is like a, a telekinetic blast. I, I usually stick between Igni and Ard. Uh, I had to use this for a boss fight a second ago, so that was interesting. But um, it, it's quite these oh, this warg over here and his friends. Oh no! Oh. Uh, now, unlike the second game, the magic actually does a decent amount of damage. Uh, one of the problems I had with the second game was the uh, magic was basically useless. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I was using it wrong, but I, I doubt it. Magic's what I do in video games, so, <laughs> you know. Um, but, as you can see, there's the enemies drop loot, uh, wolf slivers, and then you can eat, dog tallow being a, sort of a crafting item, which you can, you can do alchemy if you have the recipe and the ingredients to make potions, oils, oils to like to put on your weapon so they can be like do poison and stuff, and stuff like that. Um, you can also craft but you have to be at a, uh, a crafting anvil and have to have a crafter who, can, who has a kind of level to craft the item you want. Uh, you, there's also a small level up system. Uh, I actually have a point dispenser so we can do that there. Uh, so I, every time you level up or go to a power shrine, you get um, skill points, which you can apply to different things. So I can power up my signs, I can make my abilities better, uh, make my you know my potions last longer, or give me more effects from them, and uh, just your general um, general buff, passive buffs. If I equip a mutagen and an ability in the same area, the mutagen will get a bonus. So, like, if I had a green ability here, I'd get more health from this. Uh, so, that's pretty neat. I don't have any green abilities yet. Yet. What's this? Let's see. Boom. Mm -hmm. no, I don't really want one of those right now. I don't use a lot of potions yet. I, don't, I haven't found enough crafting items. So, let's... Uh, Let's puff, buff up our uh, quick attack, which I can use that a lot. That way... There. You have to equip all these abilities you purchase as well, because not equipped it won't do you any good. And then 
as you go through, you uh, unlock more, I guess. Yeah, by leveling up. Okay. Looks like the max level might be 30. Looks like it. Yeah, 28, 30. Yeah, 30. Okay, cool. Uh, your inventory system is uh, its kind of grid-based, but it's really based on how much weight you can carry more than anything. You can uh, sell items to merchants, break them down. And there's different kinds of currency, which is cool. Uh, some worth more than others. You've got different trophies and random items you can find that you can use to sell or, or do a break apart to make crafting items with, which is, you know, that's what's up. Let's see if we can get some more interesting stuff going on here. So. And there is crafting ingredients everywhere in this game. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least? Alright, so here we are. Walk up on this crazy looking orb. It's like another power stone, so it might need my silver sword. Right. Silver sword, there we go. Place of power. Yep. Should draw from it. Last time I was at one, it gave me an ability point, but it was right there. You don't see it right now. So. Boom, ability point. That's what's up. Alright. So, not what I wanted to do, though. Uh, let's try to find you guys something interesting to look at. As, as far as uh, fights go. So, let's uh, we'll skip ahead to me getting to this. I don't know. I'll even walk there real quick. I don't need to skip ahead. It's just right over here. It's probably some bandits or something. Yep. Eventually I'll get a crossbow to be able to use, I'm not sure when, I'm not far enough in the game. Has a crossbow. Yes, you can put out fires, I'm sure there's a reason for that. I haven't figured it out what it would be yet, but uh, who knows, I'm sure it's got to do with hunting monsters, certain monsters, you know, they don't like fire. Mm. Alright, that's that's basically what finding those question mark places are. It's little events like that, like that power stone, that stone of power we were at, or this thing here. They're always something interesting. Sometimes it could be an underwater cave or something like that. Man, I love looting things. What? More? Alright. I don't know what to do myself. There's so much loot. So much loot. Alright, sorry, I got tracked, got tracked. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Uh, I'll probably, I'll, I'll definitely be putting out some more Witcher content. Uh, Cooper's got some more Minecraft stuff coming out. And of course, we'll get back to Let's Play Action Hink real soon. Alright, thanks guys for hanging out with me. Like the video if you if you liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more Witcher content or gaming content, period. Alright, thanks guys. Bye!